Hi everyone, Happy New Year. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Bowman Draft Baseball Super Jumbo Edition two box random team break number six. The next two box break, fresh case. Got a couple combos here. We combo Phillies and Marlins. A's and Astros were comboed as well. A lot of autographs in these two boxes. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. And uh, congrats to the people who won spots in that capstone pack break where we gave away five spots in this break. So appreciate that crew getting in. There are those combos right there we were just talking about. So it should be 28 on each list. We're going to randomize each list. Two and a five. Seven times each. Names first. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Got Jimmy down to Lonnie. Two and a five, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, you got the Blue Jays down to the White Sox. All right, so I got that right, right? Seven times, seven times, two and a five is seven. So here's how it shakes out. Jimmy, you got the Blue Jays. Marcin with the Astros A's combo and the Giants. Dan with the Red Sox. Raymond with the Phillies Marlins combo. Lonnie with the Guardians. Mark with the Mariners. Todd with the Cubs. Jimmy with the Pirates. Lonnie with the Diamondbacks. Bart with the Reds. Dan with the Braves. Mark with the Twins and my Dodgers. Todd with the Nats. Dan with the Brew Crew. Lonnie with the Rockies and Padres. Steve with the Tigers. Marcin with the Rays. Mark with the Cardinals. Lonnie Royals and Rangers. Marcin with the Yankees and the Mets. Uh, Angel or Angel with the uh, with the Angels. Angel with the Angels. Todd with the Orioles and Lonnie with the White Sox. All right, let's alphabetize by team, and we're gonna pause the video just for a little bit. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades. Then we'll have this two box break. So stick around. We will be right back. We'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back everybody. No deals were done here in this two box break. So the list officially printed out, hot off the presses on a Sunday, the 8th, remains the same. 2022 Bone Draft Baseball Super Jumbo, two box Ram Team 6. Next uh, two box break in the store now, if you want to run this back. Got a little Sunday Night Football on the background. The Lions at Packers. Lions are eliminated, but they can play spoiler. Because if they beat, uh, if they beat um, the Packers, the Packers will be out, and Seattle stays in. There's Axio, Axio saying go Lions as well. Baseball-wise, I suppose we've got pitchers and catchers will be reporting in no time. But right now, still, still NFL fever out here. Yeah, and Mike's Mike Tower is right. We are starting to see some of the, at least the top half of the draft order kind of being locked in. Yeah, Bears have locked in the number one overall pick and have the Lions locked in number six. Maybe a win doesn't change anything here for their draft position. Yeah, I think that's official now, Husky Dolphin. I think the Bears have the number one overall pick. So the, the draft clock starts now for the Bears. What do they do with that pick? Mm 
The Bears, I don't even like my Raiders. The Bears have a lot of holes to fill on that team. I wonder, I wonder if they, uh, if there's a chance that they could trade that pick, trade down, get more picks, and maybe a, a, an everyday starter, an every week starter in return, something like that. Ah, the number six pick for the Lions is, is via the Rams from the Stafford trade. Wow, that, that worked out nicely. Get a top 10 pick. And they've got a pick, they, their own pick at 17, which could change depending on whether, whether or not they win. So. Right, Jimmy's thinking, I don't think it really makes a difference, to be honest. The Bears are, aren't picking a QB, so maybe a trade. Yeah, maybe trading that pick for sure, says Eddie. Yeah, that might be smart. There's Jack Brannigan uh, for the Pirates. 85 out of 250 purple chrome. Purple chrome for the Pirates. That'll be for Jimmy. And there's our first autograph. It's for the Rockies. Ryan Ritter for Colorado. That's going to be for Lonnie. Yeah, ties are huge, Husky Dolphin. That's, I think that was probably the difference between one and two. The one and two pick for, uh, who was the other team? Uh, the Texans. You ready for the hot stove? The hot stove has been percolating, has been cooking, actually. The hot stove is almost, almost done. Now we're looking to feast on the season. I guess really the only player that's still out there is Carlos Correa hasn't really been locked down yet. So that's still up in the air. Is that orange? No, it's not. It's just team trim. Devin's hoping for a game-changing pass rusher at number five for the Seahawks. Mike Tower saying the Bears are going to trade that number one pick and $200 million for the ability to go back in time and draft, draft Brett Favre. I'm not sure if that's been collectively bargained by the NFLPA and the owners. Some things happening here. we got Adele Amador, 306 out of, three, out of 499, paper. They will initially say they love someone with the number. Yeah, the Bears will say they love someone at the number one pick, of course. That's where all that game, that GM gamesmanship happens. There's Harry Ford, 52 out of 75 for Seattle. And we got a Chandler Simpson, 25 out of 71 speckle auto for Tampa Bay. It's going to be for Marcin. And I'll do a quick little recap of the autos at the end, too. Jackson Holiday Paper. And all those Jacksons will go to Todd. Got randomized the Baltimore Orioles.
Axios is saying rumors Correa suffered a career-ending injury secretly. And his twin brother has been playing, which is why teams are back in away. Why doesn't why doesn't the twin brother continue to play? There's Kumar Rocker to four ninety nine for the Rangers. It's gonna go to Lonnie. And we got Jacob Miller. 005 out of 499. For the fish, that's going to go to the Marlins Phillies combo, Raymond. Some Elijah Green. That's for the Nats. That's for Todd. Wow, Todd has the Nationals and the Orioles. Good randomizer there. Let's hope these boxes cooperate. Here's a Tamar Johnson paper. It's going to be for the Pirates, Jimmy, with the Buckos. There's a chrome Tamar Johnson for Jimmy. And Todd with that chrome Elijah Green. Rex is saying, all I know is Korea picked a bad time to stop cheating. Are you saying he should have, you're suggesting he, he should have cheated his way through his medical? We've got a green Jonathan class. Two out of 99 for Seattle. That's going to go to Mark. And a Justin Boyd for the Red Legs. Bartholomew with Cincinnati. Identical twins. Carl's Correa and his identical twins. Purely rumor, but it seems if teams aren't sure if the real CC is what they're assigning. Well, if, if I'm... If they're identical twins, and if I'm Carlos, I'm saying, hey, you, you play. We'll split the money. Why would the real Carl's Correa even show up and, and risk that big contract? It doesn't make sense. They're not playing the identical twin game very well, if that's the case. There's Andrew Pintar, 60 out of 99. Green paper for Lonnie and the Diamondbacks. Yeah, in that case, you just lock away Carlos Correa and get his identical twin to get the big money and continue playing. Just like you, I mean, you got to keep that secret. Just like in the Prestige the movie, the Prestige with Christian Bale and uh, that Australian guy that plays with, and Wolverine. I'm blanking on his name, but you know what I'm talking about. Hugh Jackson. Hugh Jackson. Good movie, Prestige. That's a that's a Christopher Nolan picture, if I want to see.
And we got Logan Tanner, 27 out of 250, purple chrome autograph, another red leg for Bartholomew. Ivan Melendez is in this set, and apparently, and is nicknamed the Hispanic Titanic, winner of the Golden Spikes Award. Right, the college of baseball equivalent of Heisman, yes, we know this. And broke Chris Bryant's college home run record. Where did, uh, where did Ivan Melendez go to college? Chris Bryant went to a small private school in San Diego. I want to say he went to University of San Diego. Ah. Ivan Melendez went to UT Austin. Texas. Rex is thinking maybe it was the twin that played during the cheating World Series. All right, it's possible. Apparently, Carlos was in a car accident a while ago, and his twin stepped in. Ah, that's a sounds like the uh, sounds like the Paul McCartney is dead story. I'll bet if we look through, I'll bet if we look through all of the uh, all of Carlos Correa's baseball cards, we can probably find clues in each picture that suggests that he's dead. Was that another sack by Aiden Hutchinson? Nice. Nice. This is how important pass rushing is. Gotta get those game records. Next two box break is in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com, and that is from a fresh case. We're selling a handful of spots plus a few fillers, which obviously can be canceled if the full spots are moving more quickly. We can cancel those fillers and we'll take the spots that we reserved for the filler. We can put them back into the main break itself. 40 yard field goal for the Packers. I think. They've just been trading field goals the entire game. And Mason Crosby drills it. So 9-3 Green Bay. Well, that's good. That Aiden Hutchins sack just limited in them to that field goal. Let's see if Jared Goff and the Lions can respond here. The number of celebrities involved in death hoaxes. Wasn't Jimmy Fallon one of these this past year? Was he? Did he? I feel like I do that vaguely remember something about him having to confirm that he is not dead. I I don't remember any urban legends about Katy Perry being dead either. And what? The current Katy Perry is... Uh, my current Katy Perry is is like someone else. I feel like I remember the Avril Lavigne one, right? Nate and Simon mentioning that. Is that Paul Giamatti playing Einstein in a Verizon commercial with Cecily Strong? I do kind of remember the Avril Lavigne one. She had to confirm that she she is still alive. Hey, we're just talking about him. Ivan Melendez, 309 out of 499. Your 43rd overall pick.
Dimebacks, Lonnie. And we got Bryce Hubbard. Speckle. I think these speckles are not numbered, right? Yeah. They're not. And we got a David McCabe, 229 out of 499. McCabe's one of my favorite guitar shops in West Los Angeles. This goes to Dan and the Braves. I don't think David has anything to do with the guitar shop, but there he is. Actually, was saying Katy Perry has been dead musically since 2009. What record was that? So after that record in 2009, everything was downhill. Todd with the Orioles. Oh, nice, Chad. Coming down to California in June to mark off Dodger Stadium. I think I on the break schedule, a couple tabs over, I feel like there's a Chad Da, a C Da baseball stadium list that we've been keeping track of. Well, you'll have to have to definitely pop by the shop and say hi. We got Yasser Mercedes, purple chrome, 250. Dodgers Padres, nice. That's, that's pretty good. And we got Dominic Keegan for the Rays. That's going to be for Marcin, Tampa Bay. Rex saying the only, only death I really believe that could have been faked is Andy Kaufman. And that's just because who he was. I could see that. That's a good question. Mike's asking Chad for the each stadium you visit. Do you do you have something to commemorate it? Some some sort of souvenir from each stadium? Ooh. Uh-oh, a flag, though. Javante Williams looked like he had a nice little touchdown there, but... Ah, holding on the offense. That's always... That's the worst. Chad says, we buy a mini bat from each stadium, and we have a wall display on the house of them. Full of them. That's, that's pretty nice. It's a really good idea. Check down turning into a first down. Nice. We got Brenner Cox. B Cox. This nice Cox going to Todd. How big is this Cox? 6'3, 195. Todd and the Nats. Tamar Johnson paper for the Pirates. Jimmy. 
Let's see if we can find some parallels of that guy. Oh, and you have them organized by division too. You know, Chad, if this was like a bar, right? If you had this at like a bar, you would move the bats up based on standings every day. You could move those up and down the racks. Once you get all the bats. You guys actually do do that. Nice. Oh, good. That's how you know they're, these guys are baseball fans. Team Daw baseball fans. But apparently no, no, not a lot of visits to the Central. Well, Chad, you should plan on the National, which is in Chicago this year. You can knock out... You know, the, the, the two Chicago teams. All right, last two little stacks here. Let's see what we got. Do I think someone's trying to complete the uh, Brenner Cox Rainbow? A Cox Rainbow? Yeah, absolutely. There's Clark Elliott, A's. It's going to be for Marcin with the Astros and A's. We actually talked about that as well, but it would screw, it would screw up Minnesota. We got John uh, Kasevich, 158 to 199. I, I guess Chad Dog could just buy the remaining bats on eBay, Eddie, but I think the point is that, that they wanted something to commemorate visiting a stadium. They're trying to hit up him and uh, the, the wife are trying to hit up every stadium in, in Major League Baseball. There's Jordan Sprinkles. Sprinkles! 46 out of 250. Speaking of the White Sox. Ah, so this year as Chow is deciding between the LA trip or seeing the White Sox play the Mets and, and uh, wherever the White Sox play. Comiskey. Uh, not, it's not Comiskey, but... Or no, Cubs White Sox at Wrigley. I see, I see. What happens uh, when you visit all the stadiums, Chad? Is it going to be NFL stadiums after that? Or baseball stadiums around the world? Oh, I see, Eddie. There you go. ABC always be closing. That's true. Chad, Eddie's right. You'd save a lot of money not traveling. Just get the mini bats. A lot more money for breaks. For group breaks at jaspyscasebreaks.com. ABC always be closing. See, I've been on vacation for a couple of weeks, so so uh, I'm not ABCing right now. There's Daniel Cueva, 164 out of 499. It's for Lion and the Rangers. And there's Ryan Cermat, 54 out of 150. Blue Wave, Rays, Marcin.
Oof. Lions pushing that field goal left. Still 9-3 Green Bay. That hold on that touchdown was pretty huge. <laughs> yeah, there could be a, a sprinkle, a burger sprinkle, sprinkle to burger. Although it would have worked if it was like like Jake Donut or Jake Cake or something like that. Sprinkle to cake to the first baseman. It was going to be Andrew Vaughn, maybe, I think, this year. Now that Jose Abreu is not in the White Sox anymore. That is that, my friends. Bowman Draft. Super Jumbo Edition. Two boxes of it. Random team number six. The next two box break is going to be from a uh, fresh case. So keep that in mind. Lonnie had the White Sox, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. And there you go. Those are your autos plus a lot of parallels right here as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.